There are but a few places in this city rising, like an unkempt book, from grey and ground and poverty to wealth and back again, where nature does not in some small way encroach, be it the occasional ochre blade or the bug that buzzes in the microwaves. Yet these creatures are only very rarely from a world of mammon born. The perils of life instead dealt with head on with a freedom that the human of the urban realm has long since done their best to forget. Yet how those humans still strive to feel and delight in the fresh water, how clean it is as it runs down the street from pipework broken by the only moderate foresight of a Victorian engineer. And how those humans relish every leaf that isn't black with soot, every branch that isn't part of the northern line, every tiny moth that isn't eating their wardrobe clothes. Late at night, I hear foxes in the communal garden celebrating conjugal rights as only foxes know how. And I wonder if the progress we've made as a species has even for a second been worth it. As industrious as we are, the wheel on which we break our backs is ill-suited even to the cartwright. I think perhaps I'd rather be a flower or a butterfly or something living far from the hand of craven domesticity. But here we are. Here am I. And then I remember, one doesn't have to journey far to remind oneself that nature is still close to us, that milk doesn't start on the supermarket shelf, but in a large metal shed in an industrial complex just off the M25, where everything goes around and around and around.